Welcome back to Let's Play Obsidian, and now the question is, where the heck are we? We went through that door that the Bureau Chief opened for us. You can see through back there. Now we got this big rock. Hmm. Oh, we can move it. I mean, this is a dream after all, so why not? <gasps> hey, did you notice that? Look at that, it's changed. See, so this is another way to get around. So let's go back in. Yep, that rebel leader did tell us that it's another way to get around this place. Now remember, we want to get to... We want to get to the chief. That's where we started. What happens if we do it over here? Oh, that's back to... That looks like the Department of Immediate Action. This looks like... Oh, it looks like we're going to fall straight down if we go here. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> Not interested. So let's try again. There's only so many ways to rotate this rock. That's back to the default. Yep, that's where we came from. Let's pull it forward. Aha! This looks promising. Yes, we are now standing on the Bureau Chief's face of the cube. Where is he? Ah, there he is. We want to get on the other... He's right there, about. So, let's get over to him, say hi. He probably won't appreciate us approaching him from this angle. <laughs> I mean, we're not taking the bridge. Of course we're not taking the bridge, because the bridge isn't repaired yet. It's going to take at least a year, but screw that. Okay, how do we get over to you? Well, there's the bridge. Oh, you're going further than I wanted. Damn. Right? Here, stop, stop! There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Lila! Hello! You've arrived! Yes. But somehow you're standing on my sky. <laughs> how can this be, I wonder? Yeah, how can this be? Have you made a new friend? <laughs> Have you seen the light? Oh shit, he knows. Well, no matter. Come back with your feet on the ground. Come back with our feet on the ground? You know what I say to that? I say, no, sir, screw that. It's time to start breaking some rules. Time to break all the rules. Oh, Mr. Bureau Chief, you're not going to like this. Not one bit. Wait till you see this. We're gonna get to you, Mr. Bureau Chief. We're going to walk right up to you. And how are we going to do that? What's this, a ladder? Well, no, actually, it's not a ladder. This is the handrail that goes around the information booth on the main face where we started, the Atlas face. But we are now climbing up it. Do you realize what's happening here? We're now standing sideways on the Atlas face. Let's keep going. Look at this, we're now walking along the front of the information booth, sideways. <laughs> Wonder what she's gonna think of that. Down here. What the hell do you think you're doing? I think I'm getting shit done. What do you think of that, Miss Face? Stop! Go back now! Breaking every damn rule in the book. Exactly. You know they shoot people for less around here. Well, screw you, lady. I'm gonna walk right over you. Ow! You're lousing on my vertical hold. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Happy now. I hope you fall and crash and shatter in a million pieces. 
Hello, Atlas. We're walking along you. <laughs> and now, keep going. Switching dimensions. Look at that. Hello, Bureau Chief. How are you? We're coming to see you or even taking your goddamn bridge. What do you think of that? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You've made it here. Yep. Certainly. But by violating every procedure in the book. Fact. Your methods represent all I despise. Creativity. Yep. Originality. Yep. The very things that would destroy my bureau. Good. Spy your methods. But I have orders, Lila, from above, to provide you with information about Max. <laughs> if I were you, Rebel, Rebel, perhaps I'd resist. So just be glad I took the bureaucratic oath. Fuck you, Andrew Oath. We've been stuck on ground for the price. Close your eyes and hold the dread. For he on honey too had fed and drunk the milk of paradise. That was Max Powers from Grandma Molecular Assembler. I know, I read your paper. So what are you gonna do with it? I haven't thought about it yet. I've got an idea. There are no excuses. Max, I kept warning you to test more. You're sick, Max. Go to sleep. No use banging your head against the wall. Whoa! We've escaped from the Bureau. Where are we now? Well, something put it something down here. Let's check it out. Max! Lila! I've been exploring. Everything here seems so precise. It reminds me of the data structures we designed for... For what? You know? If this weren't on such a... huge scale... I'd think this was serious. Could it have become conscious? Could it... project its core and crash back to Earth to... Seek us out? Lila, you've got to see this. Get under that grate as soon as you can. Oh, will do. Question is, how do we get out under the grate? And even more pressingly, where are we? <laughs> Disc three, really? You know what? No, I'm not going to put in disc 3 right now. I'm going to turn that dial. Lift up the grate. Oh, there's something on it. Well, we're in another place now. Very mechanical looking place. Almost like there's some sort of giant metal spider here. Hmm. Well, like I warned on Twitter, this is a fairly short episode, but damn did a lot happen. <laughs> we escaped from the Bureau only to find ourselves trapped in Max's dream. And at least now we know for sure that Max is alive. At least we think we do. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Obsidian. Next time we'll look around this even stranger new world just a bit more. <laughs> but for now, this is Doc signing off. Hope... I satisfied some of your curiosity and perhaps piqued your curiosity just a bit more. <laughs> See you around, folks. Thanks for watching. Cheers!